Yo dudes and do that, your friendly neighbor Jacksplate here. And you want to get that superhero anime pro tag, pro level fighter, level stamina, conditioning, cardiovascular endurance? Well, you gotta do this. Otherwise known as distance, intervals, sprints. To give you examples, stuff like this. Just pause and you know, screen grab when you need. But let's break those down so you can understand them fully. Now I have done a video in depth talking about this where you can like watch it literally right after this. I think it helped a lot of people increase their endurance and stamina, but this is gonna be based on making a routine that you can follow easier to help you get those better results for yourself. Because as I've talked about so many times before on this channel, like if you have a nice strong heart and lung health, you can just make your fitness just exponentially better all over, okay? Instead of just like looking like you know, you're freaking like chiseled out of marble, actually have that internal core. Like, look at your favorite superheroes or favorite anime protagonists, all right? They are able to keep going and going and going because they have this sort of stamina and endurance. So you don't want to just have like, you know, a big armored body, but then like your body underneath is just like, oh yeah, I, I'm going to gas out super fast. So this is what we're going to help you out with today. I want to make this perfectly clear. The goal of this video is to increase stamina, endurance, your heart and lung health, your overall physical conditioning, and fat loss will be a byproduct, but is not the goal. Like all those things are the main goal. Fat loss is going to be a byproduct, secondary. It's not what we're focusing on. Again, if you're merely interested in just the aesthetics, I completely understand it. Like there are people in there who just want to look sexy and that is it. Then again, I highly, highly recommend just walking. You will be surprised how much fat will come off of you if you just walk like for example I always say to people if you go on a treadmill and put it at like an incline of like 10 and walk like for 45 to 60 minutes you will and like do that consistently that will lead to a lot uh, better fat loss for you to see if you're just interested in aesthetics or walking 10 to 15 K steps per day well these ones right here are really great at boosting your stamina your heart health and all this stuff but the fat loss I found is like secondary to all those improvements so again if that is what you're interested in I'm giving you an out right now now, just telling you that right from the get-go but let's get to it let's start with the D <laughs> better yet long distance light pace so this is what you pretty much are doing for people who want to increase overall cardiovascular health but also to help you like you know go the distance but the thing about it is some people misconstrue this as like you know running like all the time or something like that when it really doesn't have to be as intense as that like literally if you were just like you know chest up running breathing normally again do some diaphragm breathing if you want to learn how to do that watch my demon slayer video while you're doing it and this is just a light pace and you're going a long distance all right this and you don't have to do it with just running i want to specify this this is not just for running you can do this with a variety of things you can do this with swimming you can do this with cycling you could do this if you're like you know playing a certain sport like maybe basketball or something like that depending on how like you know intense you're going with it you could do it with a jumping rope all right it does not have to be just running but i think running is just an easier visual for a lot of people to understand but you could choose what type of cardio you want to do this with but the whole premise of this is just to increase your cardio, increase your gas tank, and also it's just gonna make you feel better. And this is great for helping people to condition themselves, but it's also very relaxing once you get uh, advanced at it. So what you do is you just steadily build up. So for example, let's say you can only run a mile, right? So you're just gonna go mile, you know, easy pace, you're breathing, stuff like that. Like you're just, you're going, you're going, you're going. And then like you go, okay, I got a mile down. And then you gradually increase that. So maybe a mile and a half next time, maybe two miles next time, or maybe like you do it like weekly, like do a mile every single week. And then like, you know, do two miles the next week or two miles the next month or something like that. And then gradually build up. And I recommend doing this like, you know, probably like three days a week. I think that'd be cool. Or like two days a week if you want to just to steadily build up for it, because depending Depending on where your fitness level is at, this can either be like super intense if you're like a really beginner, or it could just be like, you know, a nice therapeutic thing. For example, I love running because it makes me remember like, you know, I feel like, you know, rolling around at the speed of sound, you know, stuff like that. Or like, I feel like, you know, when the Z fighters are just running through the grass, you know, we're just exploring. Okay. I used to love running around with friends as a kid when I was like, you know, running around the playground, stuff like that. Like that is the cool thing about this type of running. It helps you build up that stamina, that level of endurance for yourself so that your entire body just feels good all around. And again, you're not karate chopping the freaking wind like, you know, you're running or something like that, where you're not just sprinting or you're not just like, you know, uh, like uh, just hyper running, you know, like Tom Cruise running in the Mission Impossible movies. You're just, you know, light pace, chest up, you know, light trotting and stuff like that, but you're going like at a good fast pace, you know, so tons of boxers do this. Like some of the goats do this, like, you know, Muhammad Ali, uh, Mike Tyson, GSP, Canelo Alvarez, Manny Pacquiao, stuff like that, even like Floyd, stuff like that. They always 
always like use this type of cardio and it helped them like it show you see it actually help them depending on what they're doing but again you don't have to do it with running you can do this with any type of cardio which is your preference it just has to you know be a light pace consistently and you're constantly just moving you're just constantly moving through it so like that's the fun thing about it is just you're constantly you don't stop you're able to maintain that pace great for building up your heart and lung health great for increasing your stamina and endurance and help for uh, great for helping you if you're in like you know deep water okay like you're not oh god I gotta I gotta make sure I have enough energy to like keep going and something like that so for example a lot of fighters will be like oh I sort of gas myself out but like a lot of fighters who have this sort of thing where like they can just keep going to the final round and be like okay I'm still I'm still fresh as a daisy so something to keep in mind if you really want that like superhero stamina for yourself that's part one and you got to do the D next up we're gonna do intervals now when I say intervals I don't necessarily mean like you know standard interval training where you do like two things at a moderate pace and then like you know one uh, minute like super intense like there are so many great interval trainings like that but for me what I found if you're really trying to increase that heart and lung health and stamina and endurance for like you know certain sports stuff like that it's when you go the higher intensity for longer periods and then you rest a shorter amount of time you can look at something like um, you know there are various workouts like that for, uh, I think the most well-known is probably like Sean T's insanity where he says instead of doing regular interval training they do max interval training which is really just like higher moderate pace stuff but like that that's a topic for another day but like um the the way he frames it is that you, you do intense exercises back to back to back and then you have a short rest so for example you do like you know burpees and plyo jumps and clap push-ups something like that and then you rest and then you like you know you do that over and over and over again i actually have my own program specifically designed for that which is shorter which is called a rip master you can actually get in the description box down below it's helped a lot of people get like really great results for themselves so if you're interested be sure to check that out in the description box down below for yourself again or there's tons of stuff out there just throwing out there if you want to but the way it works is just you are pushing your heart to its limit but then you're getting a short rest stamina and then you're going back out there again so what it's doing is it's building up like that cardiovascular endurance for like intense rounds so this is actually great for like if you were like say had to go for rounds of something like if you had like you know a three minute round and you had to rest like a, a boxer or a fighter or something like that where you had to like get those uh, stamina points in but this is great for people who have like round sports where they get to like you know a short rest and then go back into it so something like you know boxing or like MMA or something like that and like you can do this with various things for example a suicide drill where you run there and back that is actually a great way to do an interval for yourself that is short pace and allow you to like you know recuperate so for example you could do like a sprint there back and then like you know walk back and then just do there back walk back there back walk back making sure you've warmed up preferably a way beforehand and this is going to help boost your stamina endurance and help you get ready for like oh i need to be intense for longer periods of duration so i need to be able to like you know maintain myself for longer periods of time it's really effective will make you sweat a lot and again you can do like with various exercises too like you go from like jumping jacks to burpees to sprints or something like that like you know you can play around with it and then just make sure the rest time is like 30 seconds to like one minute and that's what's going to give you like your elevated heart rate which is really pushing yourself but again I cannot stress this enough stay safe because there are people who have died from doing interval training because they were not super in shape like there are people who have died from not being able to do uh, the exercise because they were not mega in shape so it is on you to see what you're going so go at your pace gradually increase challenge yourself but this is great for you and I just want to say my Ripmaster follow-along workouts comes with like beginner variations too if you're someone who's like complete beginner and wants to get started with this so definitely check it out for yourself in the description box down below if that sounds interesting to you now we hit you with some sprints and this is just you going all out after you've warmed up fully of course where you were going all out you like you're sprinting to your 100% of your max and this is just going to help you build up that explosiveness those fast twitch muscle fibers where you're just you're bursting you're going after it you got that power again you can use this with like punching bags you can use this with various things you can do the swim and laps all this stuff you know double unders jumping rope various various things like that that is what this helps with specifically and for these ones you can actually think of them sort of like resistance training or powerlifting in a sense because you can have a longer period of rest and recover and then do it again and make sure you like fully build yourself up because with these ones you're not trying to you know do what the intervals did where you're like constantly working your heart you're just trying to work on your explosiveness and how fast you can burst and how like you know much speed you can generate and how much power you can generate when you're doing this stuff and also remember if you're doing running sprints running sprints are anaerobic exercise because they are so intense that you cannot use oxygen fast enough to use for a fuel source when you're doing these sort of movements and also I wanted to say this if you're trying to like um, sprint I would actually do 
a shorter like sprint instead of like a 400 meter sprint. So for example, uh, if you're, there's a difference between someone who is doing a 400 meter like track sprint because they have to time themselves or like when they want to fully unleash. And then there's a difference between someone who's like doing a 100 meter sprint where it's like, I got to go as fast as possible to get that other side there and back. And that is what I would recommend you to improve yourself with is just doing those uh, shorter burst ones where you're going for like 10 to 20 seconds as fast as possible, explosive as possible, just seeing how much you can let loose. Again, stay safe. People have died doing this because their heart was not conditioned enough. And also, this is one of the easiest ways to get injured if you are not warmed up. So again, I cannot stress enough, warm up. If you subscribe to my channel, there are tons of warm ups and mobility and uh, follow along things you can do on this channel that will help you so you can avoid any of these injuries. Like, so, you know, be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe. I got tons of videos coming like that. And I wanted to just say that specifically again, keep yourself healthy and strong, okay? You cannot be a superhero if you're constantly breaking your up, all right? I don't care how many times you watch Invincible, you're not a Viltrumite, you know? You're not a Saiyan with Zenkai Boost. You gotta slowly build yourself up to this sort of thing, but if you gradually do, you'll become a lot stronger. And again, I have to say this in every cardio video, cardio is important because if you're ever in a situation like this, or this, or this, Yeah, laugh it up, Jurassic World 3 is coming out. You'll be laughing then, huh? Honestly, if you're in a situation where you need your gas tank, those would just be super, super helpful too. So make sure you never neglect your cardio. There's been like this demonization of cardio recently. of just like, oh, you don't need cardio. All you need to do is like lift weights, stuff like that. And again, that is great for aesthetics. If you're just a person who is interested in aesthetics, okay? That's one thing. On this channel, I am about health, fitness, and you know, nerdy stuff, all right? Like the superheroes and stuff like that. And like if any superhero like skip their cardio, we see like what happens to them. They get folded pretty badly. And all of you watching this are superheroes, anti-heroes, anti-villains or something like that. Or like, you know, just uh, super heroines, whatever like you want to call it. Like I'm proud of every single one of you. So do not neglect your cardio no matter what. All right. Especially when you get older, your heart and lung health will vastly improve your quality of life, especially in your thirties and on. So never ever neglect this and never let anyone tell you to neglect this. That is fucking bullshit. And I will cuss them out to their fucking face because it is. And if you made it this far in the video, type gotta go fast down below. Let's me know who stayed this far in the video and tell me down in the description box down below, what is your favorite type of cardio? And then like, yeah, I know what well, I just let into because I always say it on my Instagram story. Follow me on my Instagram, by the way, Jack's play. I got a ton of like behind the scenes stuff coming there. But like, uh, what is your favorite type of cardio? Or what is your favorite type of um, from this? Like, what is your favorite one? Duration, uh, intervals, or sprints like let me know because again it, all of them have their merits but if you only do one of them you lose out on the benefit so like definitely just try to incorporate all of them and like I've showed you like at the beginning of this video there are ways that you can do that so uh, let me know in the comments down below let's start a discussion I really love doing it um, so videos that I have coming out working on my mega spider-man video like I did my mega TMNT video so people who don't know I love doing nerdy analytical videos in addition to the fitness stuff so I'm working on that have a video coming next week on something that that's been like bothering me in certain media, but we'll like, you'll see it when it comes to it. And of course, like I have like more tough like tunes and more with that workouts coming. So be sure to hit that bell icon and subscribe. And thank you all so much for your help. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And remember like OSA, keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, moments high. You're all badasses, never forget it, peace.